Oh, Ash. Are you here to study too? I am. It's quiet here. Easier to concentrate. <sighs> it really is. Hey, would you like to study together? We can help each other out if we get stuck. Oh, yes. We'll get a lot more done working together. Uh, hmm. What's the matter, Ash? This question's got me stumped. A ballista inside a castle is ready to fire at enemies outside. What angle should be used for the shot? Assume the ballista is the same as those in Garrig Mach. Ignore the effects of wind. This is for defensive strategy, isn't it? Why is it so complicated? Don't you just aim and fire? Hmm... It may help to focus on maximizing target accuracy to reduce your miss rate. To start, let's sort out the setup. Let's see... Using these ballista specifications... If the ballista corals follow this trajectory, they'll hit the enemy lines, right? Oh, that makes sense! Because the enemy line will be here! That's it! Okay, now try using that same technique and applying it to this other problem. If the walls are this high and the enemy lines are at that distance... Oh, I think I see! I knew you'd get it. Wow, I didn't expect math of all things to be useful in a siege. This is tough. Numbers are not my strong suit. But this really is the sort of thing you have to know if you want to command troops. That's true, but not everyone is good with numbers. That's why we have tacticians do these calculations for us, or prepare them before we go to battle. A century ago, the Empire's mathematicians played a huge role in the Battle of the Wall of Fodlan. I had no idea. Hey, you really know what you're doing, Annette. You think so? Definitely. You've obviously done a lot of studying. I really admire that. I suppose I have. Studying is a necessity if you want the advantage over your enemies. <laughs> but necessity aside, it's nice to hear you say that. <laughs>